So I, I like to go to schools and talk to you know, children and, and teenagers. It's usually shortly after I mention that we design rockets and satellites, they say, oh, you're a rocket scientist, and it goes from there. <laughs> My childhood toys consisted mostly of Lego and considerably less of the kinds of things other little girls in that era played with. <laughs> and Lego in those days didn't come in pink and purple, it was just Lego. It came in a set of a hundred pieces or a thousand pieces. It didn't come in a set with instructions that you built something, so I just built whatever it occurred to me to build. I think probably the best thing my parents never said to me was something along the lines of, you can't do that, you're a girl. I have done far more than I expected to be able to do in engineering. I have worked on um, such an incredible range of projects and, you know, as I got into third and fourth year of my studies, I was starting to worry that it was really going to pigeonhole me into things. And yet I've come away from that and after the 30 plus years, I've actually reached the point where I'm, I feel like I've done a lot of different things. I am never bored in my job. I'm always learning something new. Some weeks I'm, I'm doing the very white piece of paper, um, come up with a concept, and then a few months later I'm in a lab and we're starting to put the parts of the system together. Eventually, hopefully, we get to the point where we actually launch what we've built into space and we get to operate it and talk to it and see how it's working and deal with anything that comes up. I think engineers think about all the time about how things are put together and how things can be put together better. The biggest misconception that everybody seems to have is that everybody thinks we're all math nerds. It's always about creative problem solving. Often the problem isn't a simple solution and so it's a combination of many, many different facets to the design of the rocket or the satellite. And so the creativity part of it is, well, what if we did it this way or what if we did it that way? And we do a lot of that sort of brainstorming. It's like I start with this box full of Lego and somebody says, build me a satellite and I have to figure out what pieces I'm gonna use and whether the color matters or doesn't matter to build my end product. If you have creativity in your background and in your nature, that's actually something that will really enhance your capabilities as an engineer. Um, having the inclination to, to take things apart and understand how they work, or even just an inclination to make your world a better place. You have to have this desire to go out and make things bigger and better.